You left dirty plates in my kitchen. Followed your father to school. You want your crazy mother to come for my holiday school and watch plate for you? Eh? Go and watch plate for me, John! Are you trying to tell me, Bola, that my six year old daughter ran out of this house, possibly in the streets at this time of the night, may be missing? And you're sitting all comfy on my couch? She ran away. Bola, my daughter ran away. I came back from work. Close to two hours now, and you never thought of mentioning it to me. Oh, come here. Boom, you must stress her, right? Don't stress yourself. You know, uh, you know, uh, really, you know, all these uh, small so children, three years old, four years old, you can send a message. You put a uh, bang, three on their head. You put a uh, balloon, you put all these other small, small things inside. You send them to the mass market uh, streets to go and sell. Then uh, they will go. They bring the change. They put the money here, put it here. They know the road to their house. Maybe it's a big girl. Oh, come on. Master Sarah. Master Sarah. Master Sarah. Master Sarah. What kind of a human being are you? Oh, come on. I wanted you to eat your dinner and rest for a ballet. Before I tell you, so that you know, you know the stress from what. You know, sometimes I wonder even to myself how I got into this mess with you. I learned to think that you're part of the reason I treated my wife the way I did. And you turn out like this. Well, you're despicable. You're mean. Eh. Don't insult me, oh. It's not me that say your wife the the to close her leg when you want to go inside. It's not me that uh, that, that 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 sits in my home when you were coming passing all the color coming to baby Bebola, please oh let me put only the head. I will not stay inside the long go. It's not me that tell her not to satisfy you. It is not me that said that your wife should not uh, uh, have another child for you. Abi, am, I, am I the one that tell her to go and have another boyfriend outside? Why is she not carry a picking go? Where she go? Why is she not carry the picking if she loves the picking? So mama stress me, Joe.
Oh, fine, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's six years old. She's slim. She's chocolate, but you want to say she's dark in complexion, but she's chocolate. No, not at all, officer. I wasn't home when she when she left, so I can't tell you what she was wearing. Okay, sir. All right, all right, officer. Thank you so much. You've been so helpful. Thank you. Please, please. Thank you. Showed up. Hmm. So you got tired of frolicking in town with your numerous lovers. I decided to show up. Fred, please don't flatter yourself. I am here to see my daughter. Your daughter? Susan. Your daughter. Now you have a daughter, right? Listen, let me tell you the day you walked out on us and left this house. That's the day you ceased to be her mother and my wife. So if you don't mind, I have things to attend to. Give us please. For the last time, if you do not let me into this house, I am going to force myself into the house. Oh. oh. Barely two weeks, you already moved in your mistress. Anyway, I am here for something more important. Where is my daughter? All of a sudden, you're interested in your daughter after you abandoned us. You just woke up from your slumber. Why am I even here listening to this mentally deranged man? Who is that? Susan. Susan, did you just hit me? And I will slap you again, you filthy son of a bitch. Susan, did you just hit me? <laughs> Susan, I would love to know who's playing this tune you're dancing to. So now I hit you and you hit me back. Right? Get out of this place. You don't belong here anymore. Fred, listen to me. I give you two days. Two days! And I'll be back with mobile policemen. And if I do not see my daughter, I will have you arrested. And then you will pay for all the pain you cost me. Why are you looking at me? Am I the one that slapped you? Look at that. Doctor. The little girl in what 14, what's her record? Okay, she was rushed in yesterday, knocked down by a hit and run driver. She suffered severe head injury and she's short of blood, doctor. What about her parents or guardians? No one has come for her yet. Okay. Um, while we await that, we have to carry out blood transfusion. Okay? So go take her blood sample, take to the lab and get back to me. Alright, doctor. Please, we need to run a test on this blood sample. There's this little girl that needs an urgent blood transfusion. Please, do that right away and take it to the doctor. Okay, I'll do that right away. Okay. All right. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. What can I do for you? Priscilla called me. She said my daughter is here. Oh. Are you the mother of that small girl that was rushed in here? Yes, I am. But madam, how is it now that you're just coming for your daughter? No, please, where is my daughter? Sorry, I'll go upstairs watch 14. Okay, everything will be fine. Okay, <laughs> my baby. 
Ah, Fred. Fred. God will punish you. God will punish you. You will not know peace. You will rot in hell. Uh, madam, take it easy. It's not time to apportion blames. Okay? Your daughter is in urgent need of blood transfusion. Ah, Dr. Blood. What are we waiting for, Dr. Blood? Please, take my blood. Doctor, take my blood. I have blood. Please, uh, please, doctor, take my blood, please. please. Yes, doctor. Take her for a test. <laughs> You need to calm down. Mm -hmm. She's going to be fine. Okay. okay? Okay. Don't worry. And I'm sure the doctor will do his best. Okay. God will keep watching by her. Amen. And then the doctor is going to do his best. Amen. Just come here. Come. Okay, come, come with me. I need to take your blood. Come. Come. Okay. I'm going to give them blood. Let's go. Let's go. from a blood bank, doctor. What about her father? Her father and I are having our differences. Um, I think the life of this child is more important than whatever differences you're having with the father. And I will advise you get him or any other family member to donate to her because it's preferable for the blood to be fresh and also from a family member. But in the absence of that, we can try blood bank. But I advise you get a father to donate to her. <laughs> you don't have anything to fidget about, okay? Have you married? Life for her. She needs you to fight to stay alive for her. I remember you promised mommy. You promised mommy that when you grow up and get a good job, you would take care of her. Please don't leave me now. You're the only reason that I live. I'm willing to make amends, I beg you. I'm 
sorry for every pain that I have caused you. Please. You will be more sorry if anything happens to my daughter. can hear me, it's, it's daddy. Darling, I need you to fight. Because I know you're a strong little girl. Who wants to stay alive? I need you to fight. I know you're strong. I know you're strong just like your mother. I want, what, what, what do strong people do, darling? They fight. I know I haven't been a great dad, I know I haven't been a fantastic father, but I promise you, darling, that if you fight and stay awake for me, I will be a great dad when you wake up. Please, Mimi. Don't leave me. Don't leave me because you leave me. If you leave me, it will kill me. I beg you, please. <laughs> Fight for me. I'm still alive. Fred, please come. If buy so I just want to talk to you. Please. Joe. Ah, come now. Okay. I just want to tell you that uh, the way you are treating me is not fair. I'm a pregnant woman. Look at my condition. Eh? Very soon I will give back to your son and you and I can, can get married and live happily ever after. I don't like this way you are doing these things. I've been sleeping uh, on the couch last night and waiting. He did not come home. He did not even say he should come La Rocco to could be four or five. Look at the time. Eight o'clock. That's irresponsible. Because when me and I get married, I don't want any irresponsible character like this in the house. Shamo. So I just want to tell you now in peace so that uh, we know how to handle this situation because this your irresponsibleness is just a... Uh, you are walking away, so I should talk to myself. We need that phone. It will not be good for you. Uloshi, irresponsible bastard. I imagine the time you are coming to the house. You don't like peace talk. Oh, Majija, you will suffer. You shall suffer. But you think you have to suffer. Idiot. Yeah. When somebody will...